me, I'm going to record the class. How was your day, Berito? Hello, Neri. Aunque veo que no tiene audio todavía, Neri. How was your day, Berito? Mm, good? So, so. So, so. So, so. so. Why? Mm. Why? Can, can, no. Tired? No. Tired, tired work. Oh, my goodness. Well, my day was, uh, my day was normal. I had a, a good day today. In the morning, the same routine, but in the afternoon I had classes, but I took a rest at 3 p.m. I went to the Bicentenario Park with my dog, but just wow. for 45 minutes, yes. Hello, Neri, good evening. Good evening, teacher, how are uh, you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine. <laughs> hey, fine. Mary, uh, are you going to celebrate Independence Day tomorrow? Uh, no, I don't know. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Yes, tomorrow is in the, the Independence Day in yes. El Salvador. Yes, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> no, congratulations to you too. Because you are a Salvadorian <laughs> woman. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe at the end of the class, I'm going to ask you if you want to have class tomorrow or if you, we can enjoy as a day off. Y ahí podemos reponer la clase, pero voy a preguntar yes. eso al final, ¿ok? Porque aquí en El Salvador, sí, a todo el mundo ya está que van a descansar mañana. Entonces, Como que psicológicamente nos preparamos a que, a que sí, vea, vamos a descansar. Entonces voy a preguntar al final por mí, pues. A mí la verdad de que tener o no tener clases, pues, no. O sea, yo lo que ustedes digan. Si me dicen, no, teacher, tengamos clases, don't worry, okay. We are going to have class. But if you say, no, teacher, please take a rest. We need to celebrate. <laughs> okay, yes, let's go and celebrate. Okay, hello por now. Mí, por mí que descansen. Sí, que yes. Descansen. Yes, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask at the end of the class. Who wants to have class and who wants don't have class? I'm going to ask at the end. Hello, Naomi. How are you? Good evening. Hi, Alessandro. Hi, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Present continuous. Vamos a hacer un review del present continuous. Saben que se lo vimos allá por el nivel número 3. Así que solamente vamos a hacer un pequeño review. ¿Qué es el presente continuous? Es cuando nosotros en este caso hablamos eh, de una acción que se está haciendo en el momento. Y al final de la clase tengo una conversación en inglés, obviamente, referente al presente continuous. Por ejemplo, cuando yo digo yo estoy recibiendo clases, o sea, ahorita estoy recibiendo clases. I'm taking my class. Cuando yo digo yo estoy cocinando ahorita, I'm cooking. Cuando yo digo yo estoy estudiando, I'm studying. Ese es el presente continuous. Ahora bien, quiero que observe acá. Dice rewrite the sentences using the words in brackets. Si usted se fija, tengo sujeto, tengo un auxiliar, pero entre paréntesis tengo unos adverbios de frecuencia. En este caso tengo sometimes, tengo usually, often, etc. Si pasáramos en este caso a presente continuous esta oración, ¿cómo quedaría entonces? ¿Any idea? No es pregunta, quiero ver, no, no es pregunta. ¿Cómo la podríamos pasar en este caso? La primera, la de Kate. Ajá. Que de hecho se, esa tiene, eh, se parece mucho al presente simple también. ¿Qué das karate en judo? Pero yo necesito agregarle el adverbio de frecuencia. ¿Cómo quedaría la oración, señores? En español sería Kate a veces hace karate y judo. Uh -huh. Kate sometimes does karate and judo. Ok, vamos a ver. Excelente. Solo un alumno tengo hoy. Kate mm -hmm. sometimes does karate and judo. Thank you. Number two. 
Freddy, you uh -huh. play basketball. Ok, vamos a ver. Freddy, perdón, ahí fue error mío de dedo. Pre, no, no de dedos, no que solo le di copiar y pegar. Freddy usually plays basketball at school. La palabra baloncesto la podemos abreviar de esa manera. Basketball. Freddy usually plays basketball at a school. ¿Cómo quedaría la tres? Ok. The students often correct mistakes. Number four. Teacher, y el day donde hicieron the mistake se elimina. Mis, el que perdón, de mi, no, ahí me lo comí, no, no, no se elimina, ahí me lo comí. The students of the correct, the mistakes. Thank you, Neri. Okay. The mistakes. Okay. Los errores. Number four. Mm. Margaret talks twice a week to her own Alice. Ok. Margaret, Margaret twice a week. ¿Qué significaría esa palabra twice a week? Dos veces por semana. Dos veces por semana. Twice significa dos veces. Twice a week. Talks to her aunt Alice. Miren, ya se fijaron. Aquí me comí la té de tomate. Qué barbaridad, teacher, tío, guarde. Aquí me comí la té, aunt. Ahí van a disculpar. Margaret twice a week talks to her aunt Alice. Number five. Samuel never has a bad. Has a bad. Samuel nunca se baña. Samuel never has a bath. Y number six, Robert. Robert very often catches the bus. Robert very often catches the bus. Ok, vamos con la siguiente. Quiero que observe acá. Choose the correct option. Si usted se fija, por ejemplo, en la primera oración tengo el verbo do. Pero lo tengo conjugado. Do, doing y does. La primera, número uno, Timothy. Do, doing o does his homework at home. Do, doing o does. La oración tiene que quedar. Doing. Timothy hace su tarea en casa. Timothy doing his homework at home. Okay, doing another option, another opinion. Does. Okay, does another opinion. Who? Okay. <laughs> okay, vamos a ver. La respuesta es literal C. ¿Por qué, teacher? Si yo digo Timothy do, está incorrecto. Exacto. Si yo digo Timothy do, no, porque do, aquí soy la tercera persona. No puedo decir doing porque tendría que decir Timothy is doing his homework. Pero aquí solo es Timothy hace su tarea. En general, Timothy does, tercera persona. Timothy does his homework at home. La número dos. Tengo el verbo enviar y lo tengo conjugado. Send, sending y sends. Elsa... Yes. Sen. Elsa. Sen. 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 Sí. 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 Ok, vamos a ver. Elsa sends. Exacto. Elsa envía correos a sus amigos. Teacher, ¿y por qué no puede decir sending? Porque sería que ahorita mismo ella está enviando correos a sus amigos. Entonces tendría que decir, Elsa is... Sending, está enviando. Pero aquí como es en general, Elsa envía correos. Elsa sends emails. ¿Y por qué no puedo decir send? Porque es tercera persona, necesito la S. Número tres, tengo el verbo do, doesn't y doing. Brian, do, doesn't o doing like eating doesn't. fish and chips. Doesn't. Brian doesn't like eating fish and sheep. Ok, vamos a ver. Negativo, muy bien. Dice que a Brian no le gusta comer pescado y 
En este caso, los chips vienen siendo como los churritos o como las, eh, los snacks, por decirlo así. Entonces, a él no le gusta ni el pescado ni los churros, por decirlo así. Brian doesn't like. ¿Por qué no digo do? Porque es tercera persona. ¿Por qué no digo doing? Por lo mismo, porque no tiene el is. Brian is doing. Ahí sí. Pero en este caso, en general, a Brian no le gusta comer. Brian doesn't like eating fish and chips. Vamos con el siguiente, verbo to be. Is, are, o a, o, o it isn't. Gina and you are my best friend. Ok. Uh, Plural yeah. son Gina y tú son mis mejores amigos. Are Gina and you are my best friend. Porque no puedo poner is, porque estoy hablando plural, porque no puedo poner irisen, porque para comenzar está en singular negativo. Y estoy hablando de dos personas. Vamos con la número cinco. Richard, estamos con el verbo get. Siempre que veo ese verbo me acuerdo del averito cuando me dijo obtain. No, get significa obtener. Get, getting y get. Ok. 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 Get. Richard gets, Richard obtiene, en este caso porque está en presente, buenas calificaciones en la escuela, gets. Vamos con las seis. Tengo are, is. Today, letter, today it is Monday. Hoy es lunes. Muy bien. ¿Por qué no utilizo are? Porque estoy hablando en singular. Paul o Paul. Paul. Swimming. Swims. 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 Ok, let's see. Muy bien. Paul swims in the sea. Miren que esto es un pequeño review nada más que estoy haciendo. The doctor. Check. Check. Checks. Check, literal. Es, un, ah. es un verbo, chequear, revisar. De doctor. Okay. Checks. Muy bien. Checks my tea. Vamos con la nueve. Write or writes. Tú escribes muchas cartas. Right. You write many. You write. Hay por error mío de dedo. You write. Many letters. Primera persona, write. Vamos con la 10. Jennifer, vamos con el verbo odiar. Hate, hating o hates. Hate, Jennifer hates a spider. Ok, dice que Jennifer en este caso odia las spiders, las arañas. Jennifer hates. Ok, excelente. Este es el... Yo tengo una duda. Yes, dígame, dígame. Donde dice que el doctor chequea mi diente, ¿está hablando en tercera persona o está hablando en primera persona que soy yo? Tercera persona, de doctor checks. Siempre es tercera persona porque el doctor viene siendo he. Viene y siendo cuando he. dice yo, cuando dice yo, yo, tú escribes, bueno, ahí sí es tercera persona. Ahí sí, sí. No, 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 pero aquí no, aquí yo, es, yo expliqué que fue error mío de dedo la S. Ahí sí expliqué no que escuché. fue error mío la Ajá, ¿cómo no? Ahí fue error mío de dedo la S. Sí, van a disculpar. Another question? Ok, now, vamos ahora. Ese era un review de present. Now, let's continue with the present progressive. Yo tengo los verbos do, draw, drink, eat, find, give, get, go, happy, run. ¿Hay algún verbo que usted diga, teacher, ese no me, no me recuerdo qué significa? Fight, for, find, find encontrar, find. encontrar, find. ¿Hay algún otro verbo? Five, four, three, two, one. Ok. Presente progresivo. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I do my homework. Yo hago mi tarea. Ok, yo no sé si la hago ahorita o mañana. Yo en general, yo soy una persona responsable. Yo hago mi tarea. I do my homework. Ahí el verbo está normal. 
Pero ¿qué pasa cuando yo lo paso presente progresivo? Por ejemplo, I am doing my homework. Ah, ahorita mismo yo estoy haciendo mi tarea. Entonces, el presente progresivo es cuando yo estoy haciendo la acción en el momento. I am doing my homework. Es como que yo diga, hey, what are you doing now? ¿Qué estás haciendo ahorita? What are you doing now? Viene usted me dice, ah, I am doing my homework. Vamos con draw. Por ejemplo, yo digo, yo dibujo todos los días porque me gusta. I draw every day because I like it. It's a hobby. Pero si yo pregunto, hey, what are you doing now? ¿Qué estás haciendo ahorita? Ah, o she is drawing a flower. Hey, what does your sister doing? Hey, ¿qué está haciendo tu hermana ahorita? Ah, my sister is drawing a flower. Hey, what does Carlos doing? Ah, Carlos is drawing a flower. Vamos con el verbo drink. Yo digo, yo bebo agua todos los días. I drink water every day. En la mañana, in the morning. The baby is drinking apple juice. Cambia en este caso. Ahorita el bebé está bebiendo jugo de manzana. The baby is drinking apple juice. Vamos con it. I am, en tres casos, me solo le di copiar y pegar, y pegar. Por ejemplo, what are you eating now? ¿Qué estás comiendo? Ah, I am eating an apple. Yo ahorita me estoy comiendo una manzana. Ojo, ¿cuál es el error que a veces me cometen los alumnos que solo me dicen I eating? El verbo to be. Por ejemplo, I am eating an apple. What are you eating now? Ah, I am eating an orange. Vamos con find. The pirate is finding a treasure. What is the pirate doing? Hey, ¿qué está haciendo el pirata? Un ejemplo. Ah, the pirate is finding a treasure. Presente progresivo. La acción que se está haciendo en el momento. Vamos con give. I am giving my best effort. Estoy dando lo mejor de mí o estoy dando mi mejor esfuerzo. I am giving my best effort. ¿Por qué quise poner esta expresión? Porque no solo se utiliza en este caso para decir una acción que estoy haciendo. Por ejemplo, estoy comiendo, estoy bailando, estoy viendo televisión, estoy escuchando música, estoy practicando deportes. También puede ser en una acción general, por ejemplo. I'm giving my best effort. Vamos con get, obtener. She's getting married right now. Ah, ella ahorita está contrayendo matrimonio. O oh, ahorita se está casando. She's getting married right now. Vamos con go. Carlos is going to school now. Where is Carlos going? Ah, Carlos is going to school now. Vamos con el verbo have. My sister is having a baby in the hospital. Hey, what's your sister doing? Ah, my sister is having a baby. Ahorita mi hermana está atendiendo a su bebé. Ahorita está haciendo la acción. My sister is having a baby in the hospital. Y la última. My dog is running in the park. Ahorita tu perro está corriendo en el parque. Quiero que observe cómo se conjuga con el verbo to be. I am, she is, I am, I am, she is, he is, o en este Carlos, Carlos is, my sister is, my dog is. Verbo to be, y ya se fijó, el verbo lleva ing, doing, drawing, drinking, doing, finding, giving, getting, going, having, and running. Presente progresivo, cuando yo estoy haciendo una acción ahorita. La dinámica que les tengo al final es referente a, es, a este tema. O sea, yo les voy a hacer ciertas preguntas en presente progresivo, y usted va a tener que, en este caso, inventar una acción. Por ejemplo, write the ing form of the verb. 
remember this is just a brief. For example, enjoy, enjoy it. Letter B, heat. Heating. Easy, heating. Shoot. Shooting. 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 A smoke. A smoking. A smoking. Play. Playing. Playing. Hit. Hitting. Hitting. Organize. Organizing. 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 Ahí le puse ahí con error de dedo. Use. Using. 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 Excellent. Stop. Stopping. 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 Shoot. Shooting. 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 Buy. Buying. Kitty. 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 Ok, ahora bien. Kitty. Ordenando o poniendo en orden. Kitty. Kitty. Porque si decís tiring, ya entonces cambia y es un adjetivo de cansado. Kitty. Aquí es kitty. Ahora bien, en este caso, el presente progresivo. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I hit the ball. ¿Ah? Yo golpeo la pelota. I hit the ball. Presente progresivo. I am hitting the ball. Ahorita yo estoy golpeando la pelota. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I smoke. Ah, yo fumo. Pero si yo estoy haciendo la acción ahorita, I am o oh, I am smoking. Por ejemplo, organize. Yo organizo mi habitación. Or I organize my room. Pero si os digo que ahorita estoy haciendo la acción, I'm organizing my, my round. Question, please. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ok. Vamos con el ejercicio número dos. Use the prompts to write the full sentences. I eat dinner. Presente progresivo. Acción que estoy haciendo ahorita. I am eating dinner. Dinner. ¿Cómo quedaría la letra B? You are doing your homework. You are doing your homework. You are doing your homework. Acción que estás haciendo ahorita. Presente progresivo. Letter C. She's going, She's going, to, going to the park. She's going to the park. She is going to the park. Ahorita ella está yendo al parque. Presente progresivo. ¿Por qué? Acción que se hace en el momento. Letter D. John, John and Ben are buying new trainers. John and Sven are buying new trainers. ¿Se fijan cómo se conjuga el verbo to be con el presente progresivo? Obviamente are porque es plural. Letter E. My parents, my parents are, are talking, talking to my teacher. teacher. My parents are talking to my teacher. Tengo una pregunta. ¿Cuál es la diferencia cuando yo digo? Eh, I'm talking with my sister now. Pero ya se fijo que aquí no dice with, sino que dice to. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entonces entre to y with? ¿Cuál piensa usted que es la diferencia? My eh, ¿por, qué, ¿Por qué no? Perdón. ¿Por qué no dice my parents are, are talking with my teachers? No que dice my parents are talking to my teacher. Creo que es la acción. Exacto. Eh, ¿no? Ajá. Entonces, si es la acción, ¿cuál es la diferencia? O, por ejemplo, ahí dice van a hablar con mi maestra. Y si fuera with, están hablando con Excelente. Es la acción en el momento. ¿Cómo así, teacher? No entendí. Por ejemplo, si yo, yo ocupo with cuando esa persona está hablando ya conmigo, o cuando yo estoy hablando ya contigo, o cuando ellos ya están hablando entre ellos. Pero aquí dice que my, en general, my parents are talking to my teacher. O sea, quizás usted sacó una mala nota, entonces... Sus padres van a tener que hablar con su maestra. Entonces, si yo digo, my parents are talking with my teacher, ¿está malo? Teacher? No, no está malo. Pero supongamos que usted sabe que ya están hablando con su maestra. Entonces, ahí sí, with my teacher. Ambas están correctas. Ahí es dependiendo de la acción en el tiempo. Letter F. We, we, are are listening listening to to we are listening to CD. 
We are listening to CDs. Letter G. He is writing a book. He is writing a book. He is writing a book. Acción. Por ejemplo, digamos que él en general lee un libro. Cuando lo lee, a saber, pero en general él lee. Ahí sí, he writes a book. Pero ahorita su hermano está leyendo un libro. Ah, my brother is writing a book. En el momento porque lo está haciendo ahorita. H. It, it, is, raining it is raining today. today. It is raining today. Está lloviendo hoy. It is raining today. Y la última. I am working, I am working hard. hard. I am working hard. Excelente. Vámonos al chat de Zoom. Le doy cinco segundos. Five, four, three, two, one. Porque fíjense que a, a un grupo le decía yo ayer. Casi siempre los maestros dicen, ¿entendieron? Sí, dicen todos. Y siempre hay uno que por pena dice, no, yo no entendí, pero me da pena decir. Entonces, mi forma de, en este caso, comprobar que todos entendieron es en la escritura. Vamos a ver, tradúzcame la siguiente oración. Yo estoy estudiando para el examen. Yo estoy estudiando para el examen. El verbo estarín, cuidado con el verbo estarín, cuidado con el verbo estarín, ok, thank you, y, y, solo le agrega ing, exacto, I am estarín, uh -huh, muy bien, I am estarín, ok, vea la conjugación del verbo estudiar. Starting. Porfa, los que lo escribieron mal, me ayudan ahí corrigiendo. Uh -huh. Thank you. I am starting for my test. Excelente, excelente. Muy bien. Thank you, Dani. Thank you, Hazel. Vamos con la siguiente. Ella está preparando la cena. Ella está preparando la cena. Muy bien. Thank you, Mari. Thank you. She is preparing the dinner. She is preparing the dinner. Ok, excelente. She's preparing the dinner. Vamos con la siguiente. Nosotros estamos recibiendo la clase de inglés. No me voy a ocupar el verbo receiving. Ah, ah. Ahí no es el verbo receiving. Ahí no, no es el verbo. Creo que al inicio de la clase di un ejemplo con eso. Nosotros estamos recibiendo, pero no me voy a poner receiving, please. Hay un verbo específico, lo dije al inicio de la clase. Nosotros estamos recibiendo la clase de inglés. Ay, no, dicho yo donde entré temprano, no, me, no sé cuál es el verbo. Ajá. Uh -huh. hey. ¿Perdón? ¿Ale? Take, a ver. ¿Cuál? We take, take. Ajá, yes, exacto. <ríe> ok, Mari. <ríe> take. Okay. Exacto. Porque, es en, porque cuando, sí, porque cuando uno dice, cuando uno lo traduce, uno dice tomando la clase. Nosotros decimos como, estamos pensando en español, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos recibiendo. Pero en realidad ahí no es receiving, sino que la forma correcta es taking. Taking. Ok. Teating es poniendo en orden, Berito. Taking. Taking. Estamos tomando la clase. En el inglés americano se traduce, nosotros estamos tomando la clase. Pero en el español nosotros decimos recibiendo la clase. Pero cuando yo traduzco recibiendo la clase, no es receiving. So que es taking. We are taking the English class. Vamos con la última. 
We are taking the English class. Thank you, muy bien. We are taking the English class. Muy bien, vamos con la última. Mi hermana está horneando un pastel de chocolate. Cuidado, recuerde que el adjetivo va primero que el noun. Mi hermana está horneando un pastel de chocolate. If you don't remember the verb hornear is bake. Uh -huh. Me acordaba. Okay. Yes, my sister is baking a chocolate cake. El adjetivo va primero que el nombre. Muy bien. My sister, en este caso es plural, es singular, vale. My sister is baking a chocolate cake. It's an action that we are doing at the moment. My sister is baking a chocolate cake. Excellent, thank you. Okay, please, Dani, activemos micrófono. Se prepara Mari con la letra B. Okay, look at the sentence, the letter, no. Let's see, Dani, and you're, uh, you're going to help me with the letter B. Mari, you are going to help me with the letter C. Okay, Dani. Example, I'm happy today. Everything is going well. Letter B, please. With the answer. Thank you, Dani. Okay. Um, just a minute. I came to you. Um, I'm listening or I listen? I'm listening to the radio. Mm -hmm. me tomorrow. Excellent. Just a minute. I can't hear you. I listening to the review. Let me turn it off. Thank you. Can you please, Mari, letter C. Neri, can you please help me with the letter D? Okay, Mari. A lot of people is, are speaking Spanish in the USA. Okay. A lot of people, un montón de personas. A lot of people are speaking Spanish in the USA. Thank you. Neri, letter D. Alessandro, can you please help me with the letter F? On this space, should let me see they are studying, studying the effects of gravity in space. In space. Alessandro, letter E, perdón. Yes, let's see. Oops. On this space shuttle mission, they are studying the effects of gravity in space. Thank you. Alessandro, letter E. Valeria, please help me with the letter F. He's doing, he does, he does his homework now. Yes, but the correct option is he's doing or he oh. does. Ah, that's okay. okay. Uh -huh. he's ah, he's doing, doing, ah, okay. doing, he's doing his homework now. Excellent, thank you. He's doing his homework now. Thank you. Vale, letter F. Can you please, Berito, letter G. Okay, Vale. I'm liking the new sport house. Do you? Okay, let's see. I'm linking, I'm linking the new sports hall. Do you? Thank you. Letter G, Berito, can you please, Naomi, help me with the letter H? Wait, wait, wait up, grab. Wake up. Wake up, the teacher is asking, asking. asking. Is asking asking you, asking you a question. You a question. Okay, thank you. Wake up. The teacher is asking you a question. Thank you, Naomi. Letter H. And Rachel, please help me with the last sentences. You are knowing my friend Cindy. 
Okay, let's see. Excellent. You are knowing my friend Cindy and Rachel, please. The last one. That's the books I'm reading at the moment. Ahorita mismo es el libro que yo estoy leyendo. Ese, that's the book I'm reading at the moment. Okay, present progressive. Now, we are going to watch a video. This is the dynamic number two. You are going to listen and see many sentences using present progressive. Please write at least three examples that you are going to see in the video. Please pay attention. I need just three examples. Are you dancing now? <laughs> Charlie's writing on the wall. What? Charlie? She's writing on the wall. I should stop. Charlie! Dexter, are you listening to me? Yes, I'm listening. breakfast Madeline what are you doing looking for a book Carrie do you have a second sure what's up are you tweeting about me are you tweeting esa es una expresión como quien como cuando decimos ¿Has estado hablando de mí? Are you tweeting about me? Am I tweeting about you? Are you Upriser 7? What are you talking about? Someone's gossiping online about me. I know what you're thinking. I'm not thinking anything. me what Gary Glenda what are you doing what am I doing <laughs> I'm making an omelet what do you think where are you I need some help <sighs> okay now hey guys what you studying chemistry <laughs> What are you two laughing at? You, Eli. We're laughing at you. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence! <laughs> okay, ready? Solo quería tres nada más. Only three expressions. Only three sentences. Only three examples. Volunteer, please. Nettie. Me. Okay, Neri number one. Me. Rachel number two. Uh, okay, Neri, please. Your exam. Mari number three. Okay, Neri, please. Are you dancing now? Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Are you twenty about me? Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Rachel. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm texting. Mm -hmm. What are you studying? Excellent, I'm, thank you. Okay. We, yeah, they have last three. Yes. Okay, but if you want, please one more. If you want, we are loud enough. You. Excellent, laughing. Mari. 
<ríe> qué chistoso porque casi igual bueno are you are you tweeting about me uh -huh. and what are you doing and I'm texting excellent volunteer teacher uh, okay Hazel number one Berito number two Hazel um, what are you doing uh -huh. are you dancing now uh -huh. are you are you tweeting about me excellent Berito Having breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, I am eating. Mm -hmm. uh, you listening. You listening. Okay, thank you. Volunteer, who's missing? Who's missing? Alessandro, Valeria, Dani, no. and Naomi. Yes, Alessandro, go, please. Any, an example? Yes, just three. All right. Um, I'm making a. I'm making a. Omelette. Ese otro. Ah, pero no se me ocurre nada ahorita. Um, Copiaste los tres ejercicios? Yes or no? Do you write okay. it down? No, no los copié. Um, hmm. I'm making a. Uh huh. A omelette. Um, I look in something. Uh huh. One more, uh, please. Yeah, I study for the text. I'm study for the text. Okay, thank you. Yes, Naomi, Vale, Dani. Um, what okay. are you doing? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm texting. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, are you tweeting about me? Excellent, Naomi. I'm going to finish with Dani. Looking for a book. I'm mm -hmm. texting. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Excellent, Dani. Ready? Um, okay. Um, Charles writing on the wall. Uh huh. I know what you're doing. Uh huh. Excellent, thank you so much. Okay, now please pay attention to this one. This is the last dynamic. Present progressive conversation. The question is, what are your family members doing right now? If you want, you can invent. It's not necessary to say the truth if you want. My examples are, in this case, my mom, ah, teacher, my mom is preparing the dinner. My sister, I don't have a sister, I'm inventing. My sister teacher is studying because she has a test tomorrow. My dog is sleeping and my dad is watching TV. Rachel, activemos micrófono, se prepara Naomi. Recuerde que puede inventar. It's not necessary to say the truth. Rachel, what are your family members doing right now? What well, my mom is sleeping right now. Mm -hmm. And my sister is taking the class in English. Mm -hmm. And my dog is playing. Mm -hmm. And my grandma is is crying because the how do you say the enfermedad sickness the sickness is uh, Alzheimer uh -huh. uh, uh, she feeling the the sad okay okay excellent nice thank you so much Naomi what are your family members doing right now se prepara Daniela my mom is watching TV. My dad mm. is, um, is 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 sleeping now, and my grandmother is working now. Okay, thank you, Danny. What are your family members doing right now? Se prepara Verito. Um, my mom and my dad are in the living room watching a movie. My brother is here in the class 
So yeah, just that. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Yes, Berito, what are your family members doing? Be ready, Neri. My mom is preparing the lunch. My sister is is as uh, is working in the bank mm -hmm. in the bank mm -hmm. my my dog is working in the park mm -hmm. my dad is sleepy excellent thank you neri what are your family members doing right now be ready hazel my mom watching the movies. My son playing in the living room. Don't forget the verb to be. My son is. Perdón. My son is playing mm -hmm. in the room, mm -hmm. in the living room. My daughter is eating mm -hmm. her dinner. Okay. Thank you, excellent. Hazel, what are your family members doing right now? Se prepara, Mari. And my dog uh, is playing. My sister is studying. My mom is uh, watching uh, her, her cell phone. Her cell phone, okay. Thank you, Ma okay. Thank you, Mari. What are your family members doing? And be ready, mm -hmm. Valeria. My uncle is cooking chicken and my cat is sleeping. Mm -hmm. And my mother is watching TV. Okay, thank you, Vale, are you ready? I'm going to finish with Alessandro. Yes, Vale. Okay. And um, my parents watching the news. Are, are and watching. My. Don't forget the verb to be. Okay. My, parents my parents are. are my parents are watching the news. And my old brother is strolling. And my little brother is playing in the phone. In the phone. And just that. Excellent, thank you. Alessandro, what are your family members doing? My father is watching a series mm -hmm. and my sister is taking an English class. Okay, excellent. Now, question number two. What kind of movies are you watching nowadays? En estos días, ¿qué tipo de películas estás viendo? Aquí la respuesta es bien sencilla. My example is, right now, I am watching novel in English because I am practicing my grammar and fluently. I'm going to start with you, Mari. What kind of movies are you watching right now? Se prepara uh, Valeria. Right now I am watching uh, terror movies uh, because I am, I am, I am, I'm like, no, I am. What feel, you I am interesting. Yeah, I am I am interesting um but I fear I fear <laughs> I no <don't> say <say. laughs> <laughs> okay one more time what kind of movies are you watching nowadays? Okay, right now I am watching uh, drama movies uh -huh. in English because I I am practice Practicing, practicing, mm -hmm. practicing my vocabulary and fluently. Excellent, thank you. Next, Valeria, what kind of movies are okay. you watching nowadays? Se prepara, Dani. Okay, right now I'm watching a program, program that science fiction in English. 
because it's very entertainment and I feel that it's fee it's helped me a lot of with the new vocabulary. Excellent, thank you. Danny, what about you, please? Your opinion se prepara Rachel. Okay, thanks. Right now I am watching action movies because I can learn new words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, thank you. Rachel, what's your opinion? Se prepara Alessandro. Well, to be honest, I'm, I'm right now I'm not watching TV mm -hmm. because I'm working every day. Excellent. I feel tired. Excellent, good, perfect. Alessandro, what's your opinion? Se prepara Neri. Well, uh, uh -huh. remember you can invent. Uh, sí, estoy intentando pensar en qué decir. Um, what kind of movies or series are you watching nowadays? I don't know. Can I pass later, please? Okay, good. I'm going to, I'm going to finish with you. De te dejo de último. Eh, uy, se me olvidó quién mencioné. Neri, yes. Neri, please. What's your opinion? Se prepara Verito. Mm, right now, I am watching the series in English in Spanish. In mm -hmm. in white subtitles. With in, the subtitles. With the subtitles in English. Finish. Oh, okay, thank you. Berito, what about you? Se prepara Hazel. Right now, I am watching. Uh -huh. No, no. Move it in English, subtitles in Spanish. Because practicing. Because I am practicing. practicing. Right, because I have practicing fluent, fluent. My fluently. Okay. Hazel, what's your opinion? I'm going to finish with... Alessandro, termino contigo. Yes, Hazel. Uh, right now, um, right now I am watch, watching movies of Christmas because I love the movies uh -huh. uh, of Christmas. Yes, me too. I like movies about Christmas. Thank you. Alessandro, what about you? What kind of movies or series are you watching nowadays? Well, yesterday I see, I see the classic uh, Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. um, it's a superhero. Um, and the, uh, an action movie I mm -hmm. see in English or Practice. Ok, ok. Aunque me contestaste en pasado, yo hubiera querido que en presente progresivo, pero la respuesta está bien. Ah, cierto. Yes, ok, yeah. don't worry about it. Question number three. What kind of books are you reading now? ¿Qué tipo de libros estás leyendo ahorita? What kind of books are you reading now? My example is. I'm reading, recuerden, presente progresivo. Estoy leyendo. I'm reading The Little Prince, El Principito. Teacher, is my favorite book. And it's about fantasy. Rachel, I'm going to start with you. Se prepara Naomi. What kind of books are you reading now? Um. I'm reading the, the book uh, Secret, Secretos del Poder Espiritual in the Bible. It's, in the moment, it's uh, my favorite books because I'm learning for, for the, the God. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel good when I, I read okay. the books. Excellent. Thank you. Naomi? What about you, please? Your opinion. Se prepara Valeria. I'm reading a book. Um, I call it Maze Runner, which mm -hmm. is the first in a, in una saga. 
No sé cómo se Esa dice. saga, y The Same, esa saga, o a Trilogy. Ahora ya saga, y The Which Same. Is the first in a saga, and, and it's about a, a fantasy. Okay, thank you. Valeria, what about you? Your opinion, please, se prepara Daniela. Okay. Um, I invent. Um, I'm reading the last Harry Potter book, and it's very interesting, and I like it so much, the, the fantasy, and, and because it's a science fiction, mm -hmm. and it's my favorite. It's about science fiction. Thank you. Danny, what about you? Se prepara Neri. Um, well, I am not reading a book right now, but the kind of books I read, well, most of them are romantic or fantasy books. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. That. okay, good. Thank you. Yes, Neri, what about you? What kind of books are you reading now? Se prepara Mari. <laughs> Right now, I'm reading a Men's Search for Meaning. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful book. What is it about? It's a, it's a um, drama. It's a drama. Ah, okay. It's a drama, yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Mari, what about you? Your opinion, please. Se prepara Berito. Um, I am reading the Cinco Lenguajes del Amor. Mm -hmm. um, I like this book because it's about uh, the forms when, uh, when you pra practice the law with your maybe couple or mm -hmm. family. Oh, wow. Nice. Thank you. What about you, Berito? Your opinion and... Let's see, who's, uh, uh, Hazel, I'm going to continue with you. I am reading Diario de Ana Frank. It's my favorite book, Real Life. It's about real life, okay. It's about real life. Thank you. Hazel, what about you? I'm going to finish with Alessandro. I'm reading uh, Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. It is a fantastic book uh -huh. with magic and, and mythology uh -huh. creature. Uh -huh. Creatures. And, mm -hmm. and this. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Hazel, are you ready? Yes, sure. Okay, good. Please, your opinion. Um, I am ready. Reading. I am reading Lion Kent books because mm -hmm. it is a uh, interesting books and with funny, with funny uh, reading. Ah, okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, my dearest student, this is the last question. What are you doing to improve your English? ¿Qué estás haciendo para mejorar tu inglés? What are you doing? Present progressive. I have four examples. Number one, teacher in my case, I like to read in English before to go to bed. It's not necessary to answer in present continuous. Just to give us the examples. Example one, I like to read in English before to go to bed. Number two, I sometimes watch videos on YouTube. Number three, my brother speaks English, so I practice with him. And number four, I put my mobile in English so I can practice vocabulary. Volunteer, please. Mari, Mari Me what are you doing? Okay, teacher. Mari number teacher. one, Rachel number two, Berito number three. Okay, Mari, 
What are you doing to improve your English? Okay, number one, uh, actually, I I try to talking with my partner, mm -hmm. partners in English, and number two, I sometimes watch series in English, mm -hmm. and my uncle, uh, he is see he speak English. Mm -hmm. I try to to English too. And now I read in, in English mm -hmm. uh, when I when is my day off. Excellent. Thank you. Good night, Mari. See you Bye. tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, Rachel, what are you doing to improve your English? In my case, uh, the first uh, thing I speak with my sister because uh, she speaks in English mm -hmm. and I speak with my partner at my job. Mm -hmm. and he learning English and the ball help us. And ah, okay. the second, I watch the the movies or the how do you say entrevistas? Interviews interviews the interviews in english that my for my them i that my band the favorite, the favorite band mm -hmm. and i i learned the new words and i speak these words and the finally i I'm, I'm listening listening the music in english and singing Excellent. Thank you. Good night, Rachel. See you tomorrow. Good night. Can I, can I pass? Yes, but wait, please. Berito number one, Alessandro number two. Okay, Berito, what are you doing to improve your English? I videos. Videos. I watch videos. And I, I watch videos in YouTube, subtitles in English in in Spanish mm -hmm. um, I practice para grammar para grab. I practice mm -hmm. grammar I practice grammar uh, I listen to music in English mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I um, finish practice Paragraph, paragraph, paragraphs. Paragraph, uh huh. Paragraph. Finish practice paragraph. Okay, thank you. Good night. Good night. Alessandro, what are you doing to improve your English? Well, I listen to music in English with the subtitles and the subtitles mm -hmm. in the Spanish or in English. Or maybe two. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Something I when Sometimes. I see any. Yeah, thank you. Something when I see any series, I I I push the subtitles in the English. Titles. Titles. Mm -hmm. And the English and the and this. Okay, that's it. Excellent. Um, okay, me, thank me you. Teacher. Okay, Valeria number one, Hazel number two. Okay, um, first I play the Duolingo apps to practice, mm -hmm. and second, I like watching watching videos on YouTube with subtitles. Sometimes with subtitles in English, mm -hmm. and. I like to listen to music in English with subtitles in Spanish because mm -hmm. I like, and sometimes I like to repeat because I, uh, I need to practice my, my pronunciation. Mm -hmm. And then I read um, a news or phrase, phrase on, phrases on, on phrases on Twitter or internet. Mm -hmm. And because I like it. Okay, thank you. Hazel, what about you? Uh, in my case, I 
I I listening to music in English and re, and watching and listening people with talking English. Mm -hmm. uh, I listen. I read the books in English. Uh -huh. That's it, teacher. Okay, thank you. Good night. Good night, teacher. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. Okay, Neri. Mm -hmm. Neri number mm -hmm. one, Danny number two. My opinion, uh, I try to read in everything I see. I try to read everything I see in English. Mm -hmm. I listen to music in English. I watch videos in YouTube. Okay. In uh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Good night, Neri. Good night, teacher. Uh, para mañana. Ya, ya le voy a mandar un mensajito porque okay. se me olvidó. <risa> se me olvidó okay. hacerle la pregunta, pero ahorita le voy a mandar un mensaje no, a ver lo qué dicen los temas. Que si van, lo más seguro sí. es que si va a ser las cuatro. Sí, sí, es sí estos bichos van a querer descansar. <risa> ya ah, le voy a mandar ahí la pregunta y ahí todos me contestan qué opinan, ¿ok? Y la mayoría va a ganar. Ok, good night. Okay. Thank you, Neri. Good night. Ok, yes. Dani, what are you doing to improve your English? Ok, um, number one, I like to read in English. Number two, I usually talk to myself in English at first. Mm -hmm. um, number three, I like to listen to English music and I search for the lyrics so I mm -hmm. can learn the whole song. And number four, I watch movies or, or random videos on YouTube in English. Mm -hmm. So. I can learn new words. Uh -huh. Finish. Okay, thank you. Good night, Danny. Bye, teacher. What about you, Naomi? Well, um, I, I read in English. Um, and I, I think in English too. Uh -huh. and, and, and also, I watch movies in English. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Naomi. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye.